hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in the last tutorial we have been able to build a simple hello world uh, uh crud api that simply re returns a simple hello world so in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and actually look at the MV mvc architecture and how to structure the uh, uh, express projects uh, properly so let's get started so i'm just going to go back to i'm going to go to google chrome and i simply pulled up this image right here so you can just search for mvc architecture on google uh, on google and then open up any image they or you can read in documentation one but i'm going to in this video i'm going to use the images to explain it to you because images are much simpler to understand uh, compared to the other other forms okay so that's very simple what you're going to do so we're going to create three folders we're going to create uh, the controllers the okay mv stands for mo uh, 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 model the the views and then the controller that's what mvc stands for so mvc st uh, architecture stands for the model view and control architecture so this, uh, this is how it looks like in a simple way so the user uses uh uses uses the the controllers to to manipulate data on the models right which are the models of our database and then when the database updates it updates the views and the users uses the view the view to, to to see the data on our databases and other stuff that's what the mvc architecture is so this is the mvc architecture i'm not going to go into depth about explaining what the mvc architecture is it's very fairly fairly very simple to understand just by watching at looking at an image or something like that you can understand but if you want a deep understanding then feel free to read any documentation or anything like that but i'm not going to go deep into this so this is what the mvc architect architecture is and this is what we're going to be using to build our react project so let's get started so i'm going to uh, bring up my visual studio code uh, right here so what you're going to do we're going to create three folders so i'm going to create the first folder it's going to be called controller so i'm going to call it controllers okay that's like that and i'm going to create another folder in the root in the root of our project and this is going to be called models so i'm going to call it models and i'm going to create another one is called views but i'm going to call it routes okay because i'm used to routes uh, okay so if you want to use, call it views so feel free to call it views if you're coming from django we also use we have a folder a file there called views but in here i'm going to i'm just going to call it routes because it makes more sense to me and if and later on i'll show you why i call it routes so i'm going to call it routes uh, okay and then that's that so we have created these four three folders right there okay and before we go into this i want to create a git ignore file because we want to ignore this to, uh, to, to prevent it from being uploaded whenever we push our project to github so i'm just going to type in here dot uh this one be dot git ignore great create a git ignore file and then i'm simply going to open up that git ignore file and i'm simply going to type in uh for slash node it's going to be node uh underscore uh this is going to be module and then for slash like this so not not modules is actually modules so node modules and then for slash we're just going to ignore all these uh node modules because it's a very very large file this uh, you don't want to push it to github okay so we're going to just uh, if a user if a person wants to you run an application you can just use the packet uh packet the json file and that will be fine okay so now that we have all that set up now we have our views we have our routes we have our model and then we have our controller that's so that's the mvc architecture so i'm going to go into uh first i'm going to go into our our controllers and then our controllers we're going to keep all our our routes functions so i'm just going to basically create a new folder and i'm going to call it uh, i'm going to call it movies okay so our uh, movies.js because our project is about uh, create, creating an api for movies uh so let's call it movies and then i'm going to press enter so in here what i'm going to, simply going to do is i'm going to copy this function right here so i'm going to copy the, from this function i'm going to copy all of that and i'm going to bring it here so i'm going to just going to cut out that part of our code so make sure I, I cut that part out so i'm just going to do that cut it out so i'm just going to z i select that properly and then i'm going to cut it out and i'm going to go into our controllers movies.js and i'm going simply going to uh, create a function i'm going to create const and then say get movies and i'm going to let me just uh, let me just say uh, uh hello world just like that hello world and i'm going to sorry for that i'm going to put it in here i'm just going to create an arrow function and then i'm just going to place it in here so that's just basically our function so we can go ahead and actually uh, export this so we can just go and do uh modules uh modules dot exports module dot exports and i'm going to specify the export that i want to do i'm going to pass in here an object i'm going to say hello uh hello world just like that and then that's all we need for that and then i'm going to go to our routes and our route i'm going to create another folder called movies so i'm going to go movies dot js and then in here what i'm going to do i'm going to say const i'm going to import express i'm going to this is going to be uh require you're going to uh, require and then you're going to pass in express just like that and then down here i'm going to pass in i'm going to create my my route so i'm going to create i'm going to call it router this is going to be equal to uh, express 
dot uh, router just like that and then you have instantiated that router object so that's basically it how to create those router objects so now we can go and actually import our our our, our movies our movies uh this this function we can import it in here we can import it uh into our uh, our 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 routes dot movies file and then we can begin to use it so because you have exported it from here then we can import it from here so you can just say cons you can call it this passing an object and call it a uh, hello uh, this hello world i think i call it hello world and then it, this is going to be uh, it's going to be uh, required and then we're going to pass in uh, this is call it uh, we're going to go back one directory and then it's going to be controllers and then for slash movies so we're going to import it from controllers for slash movies so i'm going to go simply going to create i'm going to go router dot get i'm going to create a get route and then i'm going to specify this and then what i'm going to do in here i'm simply going to pass in that uh, hello hello world function just like that so that's all we need to do and then i have to go into my app.js file now in app.js we don't need any of this because uh in 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 our route we use router dot get so we don't need the the, the get the get uh, function here so we're just going to remove it and what you're simply going to do in here we need to export this to to our, uh to so that our modules uh, other modules can use so we're going to say export the uh, export modules of express uh modules and this is going to be equals to router uh, sorry it's going to be uh router so it's going to export export router just like that so you can come back to app.js and you can say const uh, router equals to require and then you're going to pass in here uh you're going to pass in here for slash and it's going to be from uh this is going to be uh for slash and it's going to be router and then just like that so from router you're going to import router for slash uh movie so you're going to import that router from there so great so now that we have that is uh that done so you can just go ahead and say uh, app dot use and then app dot use uh, we're going to pass in this middleware and then you're going to say uh, this is going to be a physical movies and then if you go to movies and then uh, this is going to be uh it's going to be for slash movies i believe and then for slash movies so we're going to just go internet and we're going to return uh we're going to return you can just call this router movies instead uh we can just call it movies just like that movies just like that and you can pass in here uh movies just like that so that's basically it for for that you can just in, uh, import that from there so you can just uh, from router you're going to imp import that and you're going to pass it to uh, our movies and that's basically what you need to do in order to start our application so from uh yeah that's all we need and then we, uh basically that's all we need so this app uh, sorry this is actually app app dot route okay make sure it's app dot route and then you pass in for slash movies and then you pass in movies uh, router here so we're going to use this middleware to the router middleware to access this route and if you go to this route for slash so if you go to movies if you go to here yeah, for example if you go to for slash movies it's going to call this and this is going to go to this router and it's going to if you didn't specify anything else it's just going to go to hello world and this hello world is simply this which is going to return hello uh hello world just like that and then you can save that and then you can go back to our node.js application and then from there we can begin to try test this out so you can just uh, go back to node.js and then you can do uh, i can do NP uh, npm run this so we can do npm run and then dev just like that and this is going to start our development server for our npm and it's going to run that so let's just wait for this to come up and then if it starts we can begin uh, this go to the front end and you can make a request and if you make a request what is it going to return to you it's going to return to you just a simple hello world so if you go back here uh in here and then just wait for this to uh to start up a bit my pc is a bit lagging behind so let's wait for check if this has started uh it's still running so now that you have our node express app running you can see it's running on localhost at port 5000 so if you go back to the browser and then you simply made a request uh, this is going to return uh, to us an error that uh, uh because we, we have simply we didn't provide anything here so what you need to press this for slash and then movies and then if you make a request it's going to return simple hello world so if you can zoom out if i zoom in you can see we get that you get back a hello world so that's how it is it is easy to set up your mvc uh, architecture in react so that's all for this tutorial guys next tutorial we're going to be begin to set up our mongodb database and then in the upcoming we'll create a crowd api and then that will be done for this series so that's how it's simple to set up your mvc architecture using uh, express and uh, node so guys thanks for watching see you in the next one keep safe